Okay, so I've been playing around with these little uh, mesh tastic nodes, particularly the uh, Howtech V3s, and I've been putting them on to some um, very small solar panels to use on uh, nodes to put in faraway location, up poles, etc. One thing I've come across with these little Howtech V3s is that they're not particularly brilliant when it comes to low voltage situations, like if your batteries run down overnight. And I've found on quite a few instances, the node becomes completely unresponsive and doesn't power back on when the batteries come back up, which means I had to put in slightly bigger solar panels than I would have liked to have done previously, um, just to make sure that on bad days, like we've had recently quite a few days of uh, consecutive days of fog, the uh, 18650s are being depleted and the node's dropping down to a voltage at which it crashes. So, I've just rug, run up the this little Haltech V3 onto a variable voltage power supply. And what I've noticed is that 5 volts is okay. And if I drop the voltage down slowly, what we'll see is at about 2.6 volts, the node will start to go into a boot loop. There it goes. So about 2.6 volts it just starts restarting and it'll sit there all day doing that um, if I just increase the voltage again pass it 2.6 volts it'll, it'll stabilise and it'll be fine um, now I drop the voltage down to um, below the 2.2 uh, 2.6 volts sorry here we go, go down below. The 2.6, let's, let's stop at about well, 2.25 volts. So the node isn't running now, it's stopped boot looping and it's just sitting there. And if I recover this and bring it back up again, the node will come back on. So at 2.6 volts, it starts boot looping and down to about 3. Point, uh, sorry, about 2.2 volts, it will recover but if we drop it down below that and what uh, that's lower than i wanted to uh so it was 1.86 volts and if i start bringing that back up now the node doesn't recover at all and it'll sit there um and not power back on at all uh, now what you've got to do to get the node back on is do a uh, do a reset using the reset button on the front and what I've noticed is that this node will, well, these particular nodes won't recover from a voltage of about 2.1 volts. So there's a 2.6 volts, but it's starting to go into boot loop. Get down to 2.25 where we were before, so about 2.1 volts now. Okay. And now if I bring it up from here, it's not going to come back on again. I mean, your 18650 shouldn't really go, you know, blow that voltage anyway, because you're starting to get into the, the realms at which you're damaging it. If you've got a proper BMS system, the BMS system should cut it off. But I found with uh, some of these 18650 charge controllers that they don't reliably cut the voltage off, uh, cut the node off uh, at, um, you know, above 2.6 volts. So, you know, you need a, a a BMS system which would um, reliably cut the voltage off at 2.7 volts. See, the node's happy there at 2.7. Um, for it to for it to work. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got a as a comparison, I've got one of the new uh, Haltech T114 uh, nodes. This is actually a V2. Um, I've tested the same with the the V1. Uh, T114 um, and ah, look there it goes it's starting to reboot at 2.7 up it's boot looping at 2.7 now um, so yeah I'm going to try it with the uh, T114 uh, V2 I've done a test with the V1 and it's uh, it's the same uh, this node's actually got a soldered uh, Wi-Fi antenna uh, 
lower antenna because I managed to snap the connector. So my friends been around this evening and we've uh, soldered that area, but it makes no difference. So let me just um, switch the pass over to the other node one sec. So I've now got the T114 connected to the uh, variable voltage power supply. Uh, I've got the uh, screen configured to stay on for 15 minutes and the um, LED heartbeat is also turned on. And uh, at five volts, this is absolutely fine. And what I've noticed is that as we drop the voltage down, um, we'll actually see the screen going dimmer as the voltage goes down. You yeah, can see the screen's gone down significantly now. I don't know how well that comes across on camera with the uh, big light above. So 2.8 volts, 2.6 volts. So I can still see the LED heartbeat is uh, is flashing. I'll take it all the way down to uh, 2.1 volts here. And now if I bring it back up slowly, I can't see the LED blinking anymore. So I'm going to bring the voltage back up slowly. It was actually still running because the node hasn't rebooted. It's not at a mesh-tastic screen. Um, so the screen's coming back up now. And I'm going to drop it back down again below 2 volts. Let's take it down to about 1.73, not 1.75. And if I bring it back up again now, there you go. So it hasn't rebooted yet. It's still sitting there, still running. LED heartbeat is still running, so I'll take it down to 1 volt now. Less than, yeah, just less than a volt. And bring it back up again. So the node went off and it came straight back on again. So now, now it's booting up. So let's take it back down to a volt. Maybe 1.2 volts. 1.2 volts here. I can't see that the LED heartbeat's uh, flashing. Let's bring it back up again. Get it about 3.3.5 volts and the node boots back up again. So I take it all the way down to maybe half a volt. There you go, so less than half a volt now. Give it a couple of seconds, and then I'll bring it back up again. About three point three volts, and it uh, it boots back up again, and it boots reliably as well. So I think over where I'm going to be putting a uh, solar mesh tastic node, I'm going to be putting in a T one one four and uh, removing the the Haltech V threes. Um, what I've done with the site I've installed on this weekend is um, I've actually put a V3 in the solar node uh, and I went to it today to attach a bigger solar panel on it and it's died overnight so now I need to get the node back down again. So these will be replaced with the T114 V2s and um, nearby where I can get uh, access uh, to power and Wi-Fi what I've done is I've installed a uh, um, the Haltech V3 and uh, I've got access through the router to connect to this so I can use access to this to check that the, the uh, this other node is still running. But yeah that's it, so the Haltech V3 isn't particularly good uh, in a low voltage situation.